Good morning everyone, it's Julie at Craft So Cute and welcome back to my channel. And I have another little fun gift idea for the little mini backpacks, gift bags, and to something to put into the faux book boxes. And for teenagers, I was gonna do a journal for my grandson and the girls bento boxes but nope i'm not going to i'm making these okay and what this is it is and i'm sure everybody has seen it okay um but i'm going to show you what i do okay to make mine so this is just a rope that it's gonna i'm gonna figure out how to i think what i'm gonna do is i will glue something down here like a a piece of card you know craft card to hold this down only the back okay and that way they can untie this okay and this rope won't get in the way on the sides or anything or impose upon it to not be able to do this okay it is yes an accordion but this is a fun interactive accordion because I think it would be so cool that they would enjoy okay and I have a little pocket in here so that when they're done with this they can make another piece you know and stick it in their little stick it in their little book thingy okay and this remember is gonna have a rope attached to it okay and that can slide out and they can change they can change it because I'm going to show my teenagers how to make this and how do they make this I will show you so this book when they it's interactive it's pretty cool instead of just coming out in one accordion it you flip open the book okay and then it flips up and they can write something then it comes back down and they turn the page and they turn the page and then where's that other one and then this flips down this way okay and they can write something secretive or you know put their little pictures you know how they have school pictures right and you have this little wallet size they can put all their friends pictures in it this is a mixed media paper so if they want to do any watercoloring they can um, use watercolor or markers or whatever if they want to draw or even do pencil sketching okay and then this turns over and this one turns over and then this one flips back up again okay and then it turns back over this way and turns back and there's the book and then when they're finished see this will stay attached and when they're done with this they can take their little book book thingies out okay make another one of these and they can tie a rubber band and put it in their keepsake box okay their keepsake box <laughs> okay here's a little box i will show it show you how to make the interior but they throw it in here or in here you know and then they just keep on making it okay so let me <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me put this back in okay and I'm going to show you how to put this together this slides right back in <laughs> trust me it does there you go slides back in and then just going to tie this back up so it doesn't flip out everywhere because <laughs> it'll want to flip out because it's an accordion it's like one of those slinkies that flip and flop the a little slinky okay so let's get that done oh and all of this is i made a, another video showing you how to do the small card okay i did do the larger infinity but if you want to make a card a special card like this to put inside those boxes then you want to watch this tutorial on making the small one because this is not made the same way okay no totally different okay 
completely different cut measurements. Okay? Alrighty, y'all. Okay. So I'm going to set these aside. Here's my little fish. Gives me some inspiration. Now see, he can put this paper clip right on there. Let's just, he can attach that. Look at that. How cute is that, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's just, let's just put that paper clip right there. How cool is that? Alrighty. This will come in just a momento. Un momento. So now, this is the mixed media paper. I have a huge notebook. I mean huge. It's this big, okay, with the spiral binding. And I just tore out some pages. And this is truly very simple to make. This measures 12, 12 by 9 inches. This is 12 by 9. Okay? You can do this with any. You can use it, do an 8.5 by 11 copy piece sheet of paper. You can make it thin if you like. But this is mixed media paper. It's 114 pounds. Okay? I didn't use my other one because it's just really heavy. Couldn't fold it at all. So what you want to do is bring this down this way and meet the corners. Let's meet these corners. Line it up and just this takes a little careful prepping because this is a very thick it's still thick, 114 pound weight mixed media paper, which I bought at Walmart. Let me just show you something. Hold on. Look at this massive thing. It's a jumbo artist pad. Look at that. It says B Inspired. B Paper Company. Okay. This is 120 sheets. It's 185 GSM and it's 114 pound weight. Okay. 9 by 12. This only cost ten dollars at Walmart not on sale so I picked it up and I purchased it it was some time ago it was some time ago when I did that uh, I think it was <clears throat> in Fort Oglethorpe so you want to slowly bring that down because you want to have a good nice crisp line okay because if you don't fold this very carefully it will go cattywonky on you yeah okay so now let's open this up now we want to bring this down to this center line right here okay it's just a one page thing you guys are going to have fun making this for your teenagers or have your teenagers make it, but I'm going to probably use a, bring them a thinner weight card because I think they'll have a hard time manipulating this paper, honestly. Okay, there's my midline. I want to bring that up to that, make sure. And I'm just going to slowly press that down, make sure I got that where I want it creased because I'm going against fibers that don't want to bend this way and I'm being very careful that I don't screw up the pages so I'm going to score this see I got too in too much of a hurry on my other one the very first one this was my second one and then you're going to come and bring Oops, just dusting that off, bringing this to that point right there in the center. Okay, line it up, and because it's thick, I want to start bending the fiber so this does not get wonky.
you guys can do this with 8 by 11, 8 and a half by 11, it'll still work. You can even take your 12 by 12s and do this. Just follow the same procedure right here. Okay, now I'm going to carefully run this, increase this so it doesn't move out of place. There. Now my crease is now we've got four sections, okay? Now, we're going to bring this up and meet these corners, okay? Like this. I'm going to meet those corners. And then I'm going to slowly press that down so it does not move from being completely lined up. See, it just wants to be a problem and not fold. you got to kind of force those fibers into bending. Okay. I'm holding it as best I can. And then I'm going to start in the center and start bringing those score lines where they need to be like that like that creased being burnished okay and then you open it up and you bring this to the center just like we did previously I lift this up just so I know where I'm lining up my center making sure that it's not on the crease but right next to that crease line okay like so and then I'm going to hold it start pressing in the center because this paper is thick making sure I can get it as straight as possible yeah okay thought I felt it shift yep it kind of shifted a bit on me it sure did because it's stubborn. That's okay. And then, okay, slowly bring it out and burnish, burnish and make that crease. And come back here and do the same. In the previous video that I'm gonna probably is already uploaded, I was gonna show you this in the end and I just totally forgot. I was just worried about the time factor because <clears throat> you know, I'm pretty sure you guys don't like any of the long, the videos being so long, but can't help it. I mean, <clears throat> sometimes I just really can't help it because I want to get through the the process video. Okay, so there we go. Okay, now open it up. <clears throat> Came out of the book like this. I tore it out like that. I'm gonna turn it where it's on the twelve. Yep. 12 inches. Okay, now what we want to do, just I'm going to turn this over because I can't see the score, the crease lines very well, but I can see them back here. Okay, so now what you want to do is get your scissors and you want to carefully, I'm going to just kind of flatten this out a bit so it makes cutting this a little bit easier. Okay. <clears throat> I can use my Cricut cutter, but I'm going to go and do this by hand. It shouldn't take long, but I am going to be very careful that I stay on top of those crease lines. I'm not cutting it off the side. I'm going right on top 
of the crease line. Okay, so you want to only cut it up to here, right to there. Okay, do the same to the right side. Okay, and you've got these two little flaps there, and then you have these like this hanging off to the side. Now you want to cut this to this line there. Now, if you don't want any of those little fun interactive flippy flops, then you can just do the accordion, just fold up your stuff. But I like this because it's interactive and I think it's fun. Okay? Alright, so now that you have this, you want to turn it back to the side. Okay? We're 12 inches is now this way. And I'm going to take this card, this first flap, I'm going to turn it under. And then I'm going to flip this over. And then I'm going to flip that over. And then I'm going to flip this down. Then I'm going to flip this backwards. Are you guys watching backwards? I need to do that over. Okay. This one gets flipped behind. This gets flapped. This gets turned in. And this goes behind it. Then this comes straight down. Then this comes in the back. And then this comes to the side. Then this comes to the back. And then this flips down. Okay. Then this gets turned over backwards, then forwards, then backwards, then down. Then this turned in, turned backwards, and then just like that. There. You have your accordion. And just go ahead and burnish this down. Do the crease mark. Now, if you follow this, book should line up pretty good. You know? Okay? Just like that. Look, see that? Okay, now that we have this, see, and then now we have these two flaps. We have this one that comes out and this one. Alright? Okay, so we want to put the book, you want to have these flaps loose flaps facing you not the towards the back but you want this in the front because it's going to slide into the book page the book thingies okay so now you want to get out i used old amazon this old amazon box leftover box. This was, this was, a book was sent to me. When I ordered a book, it came in here. And this thing was super hard. And yes, I even used that. What I did was, I just flattened out these wrinkles. Just flatten it out, you know. Flatten the board out. But it gives a cool little feature, you know. It gives it a cool, so use your packaging. <clears throat> I even cut out cereal boxes. I get my little panels here. Okay. See, I have cereal boxes. I needed four. I may end up using this for another one because I want all three teenagers to have the same. Because, you know, even though you're not going to be able to tell, this is pretty thick. Okay, but this thing is a lot more dense and thicker, so I will create all things equal when it comes to the teenagers because I don't want them fussing, you know, they wouldn't be able to tell, but in case they can, so I'm going to grab two panels, okay, yeah, two of these panels, I'm going to set this aside over here. Okay, get my panels. 
because I'll be busy making these for their boxes instead of journals. I think it's going to be absolutely fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get a drink of water. Okay, that's much better. Whew, I needed something to clear that froggy throat of mine. Okay. For these panels, you're going to need two pieces. Let me erase that one mark here and here. Okay. You need two pieces that measure two and one quarter by four and one eighth. Okay. Two and one fourth, two and one fourth, four and one eighth. Okay, then bring out your little scoreboard. I am going to use this one because I can't. The the my desk is real tiny now. It's just I did tidy up some today. You know, but I've got to do more tidying up. So now, taking your two and a quarter, two and one fourth side, you want to score this. Go to the half. Where's my half? There it is. This is my half mark right here. Score one half. Turn it. Score it at a half. Okay, and on the other side, just go back and score that at a half. There's one panel. Okay, half. A half. Oops. Have you seen those trimmers that have is a trimmer and a score thingy? I would love it. That also also has the sixteenths of an inch mark in there. That would be totally cool. Who knew, right? I didn't new to it. Okay, so now that we have these done, let's move this out of the way. Probably wondering why I don't use this because it's real thick and it makes inaccurate measurements, crease marks. So I use something like this. It's got one really tiny end and another one that's just big bigger okay so now we have our little panels okay so what we're going to do is come in right here we're gonna slightly miter that off come to this corner side and slightly miter that one Okay, miter that off, come over here and miter that off, okay, do the same for here, and then on this side, okay, now we have two pieces, now this has kind of got two colors, right? And I've got this panel. See, and that one kind of matches. So I want this on this side, on the inside. Okay, the inside pocket. Or maybe that looks pretty good too, right? Two-toned. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. I think I like, I think I like that two-toned. Yeah. Why not? Okay, so if I'm going to have this on the outside, when you bur burnish these, when you I want my glue, it's going to come down, okay? So I will put my, I use my score tape. I'm just giving myself a break from the glue because uh, I've got to probably thin out my Fabri-Tac glue with some acetone and then Okay, so I'm just going to put my score tape down here. And then my art glitter glue. I don't know what's going on with that, but it's not sticking down like it should. And I did not water it. 
I mean, seriously, does anyone know? Can it go bad? I don't think so, right? Or I'm just not applying enough. I don't know. I don't know, but no. That thing, once it makes contact, you only have like a couple of seconds to lay that, get your paper like right on, t on point because two seconds contact, whew, not, to, not a whole lot of time. It'll stick. Okay, so I want to do this side too. Well, this is sequin. Others are score tape, sequin, the other names of it. Um, my husband ordered this online for me. You can get this at scrapbook.com too. And I haven't made my affiliate account yet to show you all the stuff that I use, all my favorite tools, because you certainly don't need everything. Like I wanted to have everything that everybody had, well, you know, when I first started out, but you really don't. Okay, now let's get these pieces going. So this side kind of looks rough because I had to tear off a piece of tape, uh, labeling tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these on the outside because if I decorate it, this will allow whatever to stick onto this because it's already rough. So this is going to be my outside, this is going to be my inside. Okay, so let's go ahead and burnish or crease okay this is what is referred to that's what I learned when I first started out everyone was calling it saying it's okay burnish your edges which simply means let's go ahead and you know set these creases in place okay so that's what that would look like so let's set these crease marks Okay, now this pocket's going to go here. Where is that? Now, these flaps with the silicone tape, that's going to come first. You want to take this off. Okay, and lay that down. You want this piece on the outside, and the reason for it, if you put this on the inside, whatever you're trying to tuck inside is going to get caught on it. Okay, so you want this to be set. Okay, let's get this. Okay, now, whoo, whoo. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Okay, now this is the side I want. Now you're just going to match corner to corner and see how perfectly this matches. Oh, I didn't give you the measurements for the panels. Super sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to do it now. And then I'm just going to, well, you should, well, no, 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 no. Let me give you the measurements for the panel. And I'm just going to go right in here. I'm not going to go on the crease line because I do not want to weaken that now anymore. I'm just going right alongside here, not going like this on the edge. I'm going just in the inside and setting that tape and then come in inside and burnish that, burnish that, rub on it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. Okay, now the panels here measure two and two eighths by three and one eighth okay 
So this is 3 and 1 eighth by 2 and 2 eighths. Yes. 2 and 2 eighths by 3 and 1 eighth. 3 and 1 eighth. 2 and 2 eighths. Or, in other words, it could be 2 and 1 fourth. And then just 3 and 1 eighth. Okay? So there's this side. Now we're going to do this side. Oops. Okay. Off you go. Off, 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 off. Set that down. Take this off. Oops. And then line this up and it'll fit corner to corner edge to edge oh, oh, oh. my hands moved oh, no 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 get it get it get it oh. come on Whew. my hands it stuck to my fingers just like right now oh. Okay, let's try this again, Julie. Okay. Just pressing down, pressing it down, pressing and then press this way. Press over here, press it down. Now, we have got these guys, and now we have this. Now, remember, these panels have got to face you, you, you. Okay. And this is a repeat. I'm not going to glue these down because I want them to be able to replace it. Because if I'm going to go as far as decorating these panels for them, I want them to have lots of use for it from it. Okay, so there it is, you guys. They're going to open up their page and open it up. Oops, do I have it upside down? Yeah, it's facing me. Yeah, you turn your page. And then you flip it. Okay, bring it back down. So that could be like a secret something that they write in there. And then turn the page. Turn the page. Oops, turn the page. And then flip it down. Flip it back up. Turn the page. Turn this over. And then it flips up. And then, it can see? How cool, right? They can work on their thing. And then it goes down. Flip it over. Flip it over. Okay. And then, they can even just... Well, you can't lay this one flat because I made it interactive. See? But it's cool, right? They have this little accordion thing going on. I mean, if I wanted to, I can glue it, or you can even glue these two pieces right here and make a little pocket tuck for them, okay? Because they have one that flips open on this side, they have one that flips open over here, and this center one can be a little hidey hole for something, you know, okay? So when their book is laid out, see how they have this will flip over? they have a little pocket. I don't know if I'll do that. I might add that in there. I'm not sure. But here this is, and this is what I'm going to do. So this is my front cover. This is my 
back cover. Show you what I'm going to do, you guys. Because this is going in my grandson's, okay, journal. This is front and his back. Whoops, I lost that piece of napkin. Ugh. I have this little dinghy boat right here. See that boat? I'm going to put that because you can't go fishing without a boat, right? It's not going to cover. The whole boat's not going to fit in there, but it's going to be suggestive. Now I can use this part, you know, but the paddle's not going to go in, but I think I want this because I want it to look like this for the back boat, back of the boat right here. So you can tell that it's a boat going into the water. Now, glue, glue. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh time. It's ooh, ooh time. So I'm going to just put all that glue down on here. It's going to go on, I guess, kind of thick. There we go. Get, make sure that it's on the edges. Okay. Make sure I'm in the right orientation in my pocket. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, so his book's going to slide in this way. So the back pocket's got to be out that way, not out front, okay? So his thing's going to slide in this way. So I'm going to lay the napkin down. Right there. Hopefully that's going to be enough glue for that to stay on there. I think I've got two. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, no wonder I'm thinking, why is that opaque? Oh my gosh, look at that. I am a ding dong. I'm taking this off as best as I can. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, there you go. Another oops moment. Okay, I'm going to make that the back. And I will glue something else on it. Okay. I'm going to save the day. I'm going to. That's going to be the back cover now. Okay. You see. This. That sheet's going to come in this way now. That's the back cover. This is my front cover now. Oh my gosh. I should have checked. They had one more layer on there. Huh. Okay, let's get this right. Come on, Uhu, let's do your job. I was wondering, why did that look so opaque? Why isn't it transparent? Duh. I see. It'll all work out. It will, it will, it will. Oh, that's glue. Ay. To make sure there's enough glue because this paper is rough because I had to rip that packaging tape off of there and I want to make sure it's in all those little wrinkles wrinkles crinkles okay so my grandson's page is coming in this way Whew, let's lay that down Let's get her done. Let's get her stuck right on this napkin. Like that. There. There we go. That's more like it. I'm probably going to seal this with my Liquitex. I haven't... I have it over there somewhere. I just haven't taken it out and put it on my desk. Okay. 
And then I'm just going to come in with this. Ugh, and cut that off. I am cutting this off, removing it with this blade. There we go. Oops. Kind of went a little too rough on that one, huh? Okay. Maybe I should have just stuck to cutting it. But the whole idea with this, why I'm doing the napkin, because I want to, I don't want it to look, um, what do you call it, pristine, is that the correct word that I'm, I want it to look rustic, you know, I want it to look distressed and rustic like he's used it, the book, I don't want it to look, you know, brand new. Okay, check that out. Look at that boat. Look at, look at, look at. That is going to look just like this. So when he opens his book, yikes, yikes, yikes. I guess I put, I was too rough with this. I put that away before I hurt myself. That's okay. Oh, that's why. Hmm. Well, I guess it's going to get wet because I am going to put, oh, look what I'm doing. Being a little too rough, but that's okay because I will distress this with some distress ink. Okay, but it did leave a little wrinkle crinkle. I'm going to try and straighten it out as best I can. Okay, there you go. That's... Why isn't this sticking? I know I didn't have two. It seems like. What? I know I took that. But then again. Hmm. Did I leave another ply? Or I just missed. I ripped it up so fast that. There was some sections. Okay. So there's that. And here's this one. What do I want to do? Um, I could use this fish. Oh, here's part of a... Don't want to use anything from this. No. No, no, no. Maybe. See, I ripped that off really quick again. Okay, let's see. What do I want? What do I want? Not an umbrella. How about it? No, not a lounge chair. That is his. How about this part of the sand in the ocean? That's what I'm going to do. Okay, something like. Oh, 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 I know. Since it's coming like this. I'm going to get the rest of the boat in here just as a decorative. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do right now. Okay. I think he, my grandson's got enough fish going on. Okay. I'm going to put the other side of that boat. Okay. I think I got enough glue on there. Let's get this done. And then 
I will put some. Ooh, let's just be careful. Be careful. Ooh, I should have turned off my fan. I want to get this paddle in here. Make sure I got the paddle. Get that paddle in. Get that paddle. Yikes. And I've got some birds in there too. Look at that. Voila. Muy bien. Hmm. Bienvenido. I think that's how you say that. Oh. This just wanted to stick like right there and make a little crinkle. Okay. Let's cover this up so my glue doesn't dry out. Yep, the reason why this is still opaque is there was another layer on there. There sure was another layer. Okay, now. It's glass. Press that down so it gets stuck into that cardboard. All right, this time I will use the scissors to remove and cut all this away. There we go. Hey, oh, come on, come on. Okay, did I check for orientation, you guys? I hope I did. So I save all my little scrappy bits. All my scrappy bits of napkins get saved because you never know how you want to collage something. See that sand? You're probably going, come on now, Julie, just toss that. Toss it, toss it, toss it. Mm. You just never know. It's in my little scrappy box. Okay, so here's that cover. So that's what this looks like, okay? I probably could have orientated the, see? I should have probably turned the napkin. Uh, I may make another one. Look at that. I may, see this? What I'm gonna do is make another one, but turn the boat this way and cover them at the same time and then cut it down the middle. All right, you guys, see? It works out those little kinks, right? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll fix it, but let's show you what this thing looks like. Put together, okay. Whoop. The glue is still trying. I think I'm gonna change, I'm going to redo that. I am, I am, I am. Said Sam, I am, I am, I am, I am. Here we go. This goes in like this. slides in right there and this goes in as well oh see that was a two ply look at that wanting to come up I'm gonna have to mod podge that now oh my gosh not mod podge but I'm gonna liquitex this thing so that it goes right through yep See, you gotta make sure both of those little layers are taken off of there because, okay, that's what that looks like. And I am messing that up. There's two plies. Yep. Oh gosh, that just, see I'm trying to get this thing done so quick to try and make a shorter video. Ugh. There we go. Uh, all right. Okay, you guys, there's that boat. Okay. I am going to fix the orientation on that. I am, I am, I'm gonna do these cards over. I can actually probably sand this down because this two ply wants to, this, this ply, top ply wants to come off. 
and just reorientate the napkin. Okay. Well, there you guys have it. I can't stick this side down because it's still a little wet. A little damp, you could tell. Okay. But there's this. And I just put the... So can you imagine in the girls' bento boxes, right? I'm going to take Artie Mae's paper and I'm going to glue it in the front so they've got their little oriental book. So here we go. We open it up. Open it up. This flips down. Bring this up. They're turning their page, turning their page. And then this flips up. And they turn their page, turn their page, this flips down, and then they turn their page, and then they turn their page. Victoria's going to have one in her, actually she'll have two because one's going to, there's going to be one each in her little backpacks. So there's this, you guys, you can put this in your backpack. And then, Tracy, I sent you that dragon's, that dragon book. Uh, video, right? How cool would that be if you do did a small dragon? I'm saving my eggshells right now to do it. Um, it'd be cool to make these little dragon books small. You can do it by just making it a smaller image on there and using the shells for the his scales on his skin. So anyway, there is that, you guys. Ready to go. This is what's going to go in there because I think that they would... And then I'm making flat pens. They're going to have flat pens to keep in their boxes so that they can take out their little pen and write inside their... Or paint, use watercolor or acrylics. You know, they can use acrylic paint and do a quick, you know, painting in there. Yep. So anyway, you guys, that is this right here. See? Amazing, right? Amazing little books. Actually, I'll probably make this one and do this in the right orientation, and I might just keep this for myself. Yep. There you guys go. All right. Thanks for stopping by and taking a watch. All right. Bye.